Hello, just a quick note. The video that you're going to experience is actually one of four videos that I've done around 007 Road to a Million, the new reality show from Amazon and Eon. And the first three videos are actually concentrating on the contestants. We actually had an opportunity to interview some of them, talk to them. I've really focused on their journey as opposed to a lot of the things that happen in the show. And because of that, I really stay away from my opinion of the show. I don't give a review, for example, within the first three videos. The fourth video <laughs> will have my review. It'll have my take on the show, uh, what I liked, where I would love it to go, um, what I didn't like potentially, etc. That's going to come on the last video. I didn't want my review or my discussion to taint what you're about to experience, which is really the journey right? The, the travel and the experience from the contestants' point of view. I think you're going to enjoy that aspect and maybe you'll hear a little couple of hidden secrets that you didn't even know about. So stay tuned and I think you're going to enjoy this. Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, we have a little time between now and when the new James Bond film comes out. What do we do as James Bond fans? Well, we consume the many products that are out there. We'll watch some of the older movies. We engage our friends and soon-to-be Bond fans and other things. And yes, we have something from Amazon, 007 Road to a Million. Now, it would be very easy for me to talk about this show, but I think I decided to do something a little bit different, and, and that is to invite some very familiar faces to talk about the show with me and to hear all about their amazing journey. So without further ado, I'd like to reintroduce you to Kamara and Josh. Jen, everybody, welcome to the show. Hey. <laughs> hey. hey. I'm from the, pun, the other side. By the way, it's Lovely so people. nice to see you warm and cozy and healthy and safe, as opposed to the last time I saw you. How are you all feeling? <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. We're, we're actually, uh, yeah, um, as David said, we're, we're in our warm, cozy uh, zones rather than um, somewhere out in the deserts or in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's been unbelievable. Now, yeah. let's prepare everybody. Oh, yeah. You're at home. That's a perfect place to be. There's no place like it, I hear. Let's let's set the table a little bit, all right? So 007 Road to a Million, we're going to ask some, and don't get intimidated, we're going to ask some big psychological questions about your journey. We're also going to ask some small, fun questions. But the one thing that I love about you being on my show is there's been a couple of consistencies across the Bond fan community of what they really like about this show. The fact that it's cinematic, uh, the music, the locations, but the biggest thing is the contestants. So you have been certainly a, a, a highlight of the show. So let's go way back. How long ago did you all uh, apply to this show? Um, Come on, are you there? So I, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Um, so I actually found the um, advertisement for applying for the show um, and I applied without Josh's knowledge so he didn't know that I applied um, for us and that was probably about I think it was like coming up to it was quite a while about ago. two and a half years ago was that coming up to wow. two years ago maybe yeah yeah um, and yeah, so I got they were happy with the application. And um, they said that they wanted to hear what my other half, the other part of the team, who they were. And then I told Josh like, oh, we have applied for something um, and they want to know more about you. So he was just like, what? Like what the hell sort of thing. And um, yeah, that th that's literally how it was. Josh didn't know anything about it until he needed to know about it basically. <laughs> Josh, what was your reaction to this? Instantly, I was like, what? Have you, did you think about the children? 
Um, and you know, who 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 said to you that I want to do these kind of challenges? You know, kind of thing. <laughs> but uh, I mean, we 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 managed to work out everything with um, childcare and stuff, and and you know, I I got myself psyched up to get ready for you know, change my mindset, start going to the gym, um, stop eating, uh, you know, unhealthy food, you know, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so it's a little bit of um, uh, mental preparation as well as physical preparation. And the nice thing about when we're doing this interview is there's been a huge press wave. So I've seen a lot of the interviews and correct me if I'm wrong, but they never told you, certainly in the beginning, that it was going to be a, a 007 show. Is that correct, Kamara? No, that was right. It was um, it was advertised as a adventure show, and to be honest, I think for me personally, I think that was kind of a uh, a kind of a good thing, just because I would say I don't know at the time I didn't know much about 007. I love the films and everything, but I mean, like all of the places, like the Bond fans and stuff, would be able to see all of that. I wasn't a like somebody who really dwelled into that. Um, so I think that would have scared me a lot more because <laughs> I would have been like, I need to know yeah. like the dictionary of Bond basically. But um, so it was more as, as an adventure show. Me and Josh, I think before we got um, together and stuff, we were really into like traveling, doing a bit of adventure and stuff. And obviously once the kids came along, that was just kind of like it wasn't we weren't able to do that so um i think that was why i was just like no let's just do something like we need to really do something to kind of spark up um and remind each other of why we got together and how much we love each other i guess well this is this is a big deal because one of the things i wanted to talk to my audience about was not just the cadence of the show or the details of the show but you two were and admittedly and publicly really on a journey to refine yourself and Josh I have to applaud you because I'm just going to be very transparent as a fan I think the, and maybe this was editing you could tell me otherwise in the beginning of the show they they kind of had a little shade your way you know even the controller <laughs> saying well that was generous we um but then it, without giving any spoilers towards the end you and Kamara together have really gone on this journey and you said publicly this was all about your self doubt and refinding yeah. yourself. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, definitely. I think um, due to a number of things in my life that happened, and one of the things that obviously I mentioned about um, uh, some of the uh, things you get exposed to in the life of living in London, and you know where we live, some of the areas, it, it you know. Uh, it restricted my life a lot. Uh, my confidence, self-belief was slowly getting a battering. Um, and, and genuinely, you know, uh, and, and then, and then, you know, me and Kamara met up and we got together and then we had kids and then the pandemic happened and it just restricted life in so many different ways. Um, and for me, it was more about, okay, risk management you know, um, making sure everything was safe, making, making sure I'm not taking this risk if I don't need to. I've got three children. Um, I, I'm a lot more vulnerable. I can't do this and I can't do that. Life just completely changed for me. That wasn't me. That was not me. And this is probably the best thing that's happened to our lives. And it completely, you know, I, I say this all the time now, face your fears, and 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 one of uh, well-known brands, I don't know if I can mention it. Nike says it: just do it, like literally, yeah. just do it. Just go out there and do it. And that's what it taught me. It brought that back to life again. You know, um, I, I don't know how this fear of heights came about, fear of not this and that. We, we can go on endlessly, but there's no point. It, it's all about actually facing your fears, challenging yourself, and you know, making the most of life. I think that's why you two as contestants and as a couple were so relatable to the audience. And, and by the way, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to go against what people are saying that these were not Bond fans. I think you do represent Bond fans. You, you certainly do like Bond, but more important than that, Bond is about escapism and it's about finding yeah. yourself and it's about, you know, heroism and, and fear totally. facing those fears. And Kamara, I mean, 
whether it was alligators or spiders, what I noticed was you would be the first one to jump in. And Josh was sort of like your shield and surround sound. Like, hey, I know you think you're maybe James Bond, but uh, that's an alligator right there. It, it, did you feel that during the show itself? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how, how it worked, David. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, yeah, on, I, I mean, like, do you know what? I think um, that is genuinely how like our relationship is in a sense like I'm the one who's like yeah I can do anything and I can just I don't know whatever but Josh is always there to be like look Kamara like take it easy like he really does but he also supports me in that like he he will check out to see like the risk management so to speak but I think that's how and I will always come back to this um, when they when like we were doing our application, they said that like kind of describe your relationship. I'll always describe us as yin and yang because I would say that um, I'm a bit more like I just want to kind of go and do it. And then Josh would be like, OK, let's think about it. But and then he's always willing to kind of support it when there's a rational way of thinking about things. And I think that's just very healthy and very is a, a very good thing and very supportive. And I think we we balance each other out in that as well. And I think that's how we kind of worked well as a team, because um, like I know there's like, for instance, Josh's fear of heights and it is a it's a really big fear. And as a partner, as somebody who um, you're there to support and like be there uh, back them basically if I can see that my partner is struggling to do something of course I'm going to jump in and support him and make sure that um, he's able to do it and like we've got each other's back and like with um, one of the challenges as well I genuinely wouldn't have been able to do it but Josh was just like I'm going to do it and he knew that that's the thing he knew I wouldn't be able to do it he knew that it would be too hard for me and he volunteered himself, even knowing his um, like he's got a fear of heights and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's still done that, and that's what couples and partners are, as far as I'm concerned, are supposed to do. Like yeah, you're supposed yeah, to yeah. and cheer each other on and support each other when th that person needs support. You know, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was the yin and yang. I think uh, one of you mentioned that because even Josh was particularly good at gut instinct. So Josh, there was one part in the show, and again, I don't want to give too much away for those who haven't seen it, but where, you know, despite Kamara having pretty good logic behind a particular <laughs> answer, uh, you said, no, nah, no, nah, man, my, my gut, my gut tells me everything. I mean, how much of this was gut instinct for you? Oh, I think throughout the whole process, and it was just a balance of trying to go with our guts or go with logic or, you know, and it was a constant battle. You know, sometimes there were times when I would have my gut feeling and then Kamara would apply logic. And then sometimes it would be the other way around where I'd be logic and uh, Kamara would be with the gut. It was just a complete, you know, back and forth. And, and I, I think that, yeah, I, I, the best thing about this was the synergy of that was quite well displayed in 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 this uh in in this uh feature uh, and and they did such a great job of of it i mean you know you 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 see five minutes of each of it but there are durations <laughs> constant you know we're constant bickering at each other and then trying to work it out trying to find that middle point and and that's what we did kind of get to i i, I really like your observations david i think it was you know i think i hope that everybody watching actually realizes this, that the synergy between me and Kamara and, and the moments, you know, uh, the, of, of trying to apply logic and, and, and uh, you know, the gut feeling. Yeah, I think what I'm, what I'm observing is a lot of people that I know are consuming this as couples. Like, for example, I watched it with my wife because you do see the dynamics and whether it's a, a brothers or fathers and sons or married couples refining themselves. I think there's something to be seen. Never mind 007. Never mind the storyline. Yeah. There's something to be seen in the evolution of a relationship. But listen, I'm going to tamper down because I don't want this all to be like Barbara <laughs> Walters special about Kamara and Josh. We need to have some fun. So let's talk about the show. And, and my channel does lean a little bit towards the James Bond lifestyle. It's why, it's why Eon and Amazon will never ask me on the show because I'm, I'm that wannabe <laughs> Bond. But let's talk about that because you were given clothing, 
you were given like James Bond watches and things like that. Talk to me about that process of being styled, even in a casino, in the James Bond world. That was amazing. That was just to 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 kind of get a glimpse of that life for for a couple of hours or a day or two was just uh, yeah it, you know it can sorry it it was that was that was really <laughs> sorry someone just walked in um, this is the real world yeah. you're at work yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah well, I love it. sorry <laughs> um, yeah I should have booked the room but um, anyway uh, yeah uh, yeah it, it was really it was. It was, what's the word? Come on, help me out here. Um, I think, I think, um, in terms of like the cars and the gadgets and stuff like that, it was really like cool to be like, oh my god, this is like, this is like, and some of the pro obviously the props and stuff were just like, it was amazing because this is like what they actually use, Screen and to be years. a part of that world, yeah, to be a part of yeah. that world, like oh my gosh, like, I feel a part of the James Bond world. Like, honestly, like, when um, Josh got the watch on and stuff, I was like, oh my God, look at you. And then when he got the tux, <laughs> oh, I was just like, wow. Because, like, Josh wouldn't usually, like, Josh wouldn't wear a uh, white tux. Like, he wouldn't do it usually. But then... Yeah. When, we, when, when it was, when he put it on and stuff, I was just like, wow, you look... Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you something... Maybe I shouldn't, but here we go. I feel like we're friends after 16 minutes. Um, <laughs> Definitely. There's such, there's such a Bond fan community out there that there's a little bit of a fine Waldo moment with Bond brands. Like we saw the Omega watches. We saw the yeah. NPL tuxedo top. We yeah. saw Wagner yeah. suits. We saw Land Rovers and the Wagner yeah. jackets and the sunglasses. But then we saw Josh go to the premiere. And Josh, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you wear the same tuxedo jacket? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I had to. How can I not? <laughs> that was the the Don outfit of it all, you know. And and, and I love Daniel Craig, so I'm a Bond fan actually. Um, yeah. I've always I've watched it over the years, you know. Pierce Brosnan, Timothy Dalton, um, Sean Connery was a bit before my time. Well, when I was a lot younger, but. Pierce sure. Brosnan, Timothy Dalton, and, and Daniel Craig. I just love Daniel Craig because it's just a raw cut. I think it fits with the time as well. So, um, yeah, 100% to, to don that tuxedo that he wore on, I think it was Spectre. Uh, yeah. Um, right. Spectre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's right. So, yeah, yeah it's, yeah. I, I, normally I wouldn't, but now it's introduced me to a whole different lifestyle now. <laughs> Wearing ruined. a suit just looks You're so ruined. casual. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah. So, so it begs the question: Did you get to keep the the styles and the items that you wore on the show? It's a mix and match. So, um, the, the 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 tux, obviously, uh, yeah, definitely, um, I was able to keep that. So, yeah, the watch yeah. you had to give back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> well, maybe if Omega's watching this right now, come on. <laughs> Josh and Kamara, give, give them Please, a hand. Thank you, David. At least they could do it. Yeah. Look, at the, look at the advertisement they gave you. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, at what point? Because Josh, you had a great admission right now, which I suspected that these are Bond fans. As much as people are like, "Why didn't they use Bond fans?" You're Bond fans just by your accent. You're you're brought up with James Bond. <laughs> at what point in the show, in your journey, does something click and you go, "Hold on a second." This is a 007 environment or show that I'm in, or does it never click? Locations. As soon as we get to the location and then, well, uh, yeah, for me, it's just breathtaking to be in the Scottish Highlands um, where, uh, the, where the scene of from Skyfall, where uh, Daniel Craig was born, where he grew up. And when I saw that, I was like, Oh my God. I, I know I live in the UK, but I never ventured into the Scottish Highlands. That was the first time, um, you know, and that's the level one for, so, sorry for viewers that haven't seen it yet. And, and, and then the various, <laughs> the various other locations and you just, you it instantly recognize them when you see the movie, it's like, wow, 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 wow. Like so surreal. Yeah. yeah. I think um, my moment when I felt like I was in the, like in a James Bond world was when we saw the green Jaguar 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Like literally, I was like, yeah, I'm feeling like I'm a I'm feeling like I'm in the bond world now. Like literally that moment, I was just like, whoa, this car is so so sick. <laughs> Do they ever tell you, do they ever break it to you that this is a, a 007, you know, uh, reality series or is it not until much later do they do that? Um, no. So it was just, I, I think it was just, it was just before I think kind of filming started, not too early on. It wasn't like really, really early on, um, but it was while the application process was going on um, right. that it got revealed to us. And then I think because we knew that it was um, 007, like James Bond production, it was, it made it even more secretive for us as well. So obviously we've had to keep this quiet for such a long time. And it just kind of felt like we were really in that world because, you know, when the new James Bond is um, coming out, nobody knows who the James Bond is, who the character right. is. Secrecy. And it's yeah. really kept a big secret. And that like, with all of that, I just felt like we was really part of it. I can't explain it, but it just like you just feel like you're in that kind of world. Like you're yeah. that's a it's a secret service, isn't it? And I felt I definitely <clears> felt like we, um, with it. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, Spectre almost took over Josh's camera, but we've thwarted Spectre. And he's back and better than ever. And by the way, we, we only, unfortunately, we could speak for hours. I mean, that's how I feel about this. But we only have a few yeah. minutes. I, I do want to talk a little bit about the aftermath. I mean, people can watch the show and experience the show. But let's put that aside and talk about post-show. You have the premiere. Um, first of all, two questions. Either one of you could take this. Number one, <laughs> did you have a guilty pleasure that you used at least some of the money on. I know that, Kamara, you said you're not splashing it around. You're being very responsible. You have three children. But did you have a guilty pleasure spend? And then what has the response been like from friends and even strangers like me? So, Kamara, you want to go first? <laughs> I think it was so funny, yeah? Um, <laughs> this was really funny. So um, we were walking out of the house one day, and we saw, uh, what is it, a Vespa Bubs. And um, Josh yeah. was like, I looked at it and I smiled at him. And then he was like, yeah, I'm going to get a Vespa now. I really want to get a Vespa. That's going to be a, a Vespa. I really want to get, that's going to be like my kind of pleasure sort of thing. So it was really funny because obviously, um, like, it's shown. And it was just, yeah, that was like um, really cool. But I think... Um, we haven't we haven't splashed the cash like that we're, like honestly it's just we're being responsible because again like sure. we it's a big thing for us to be able to get something like this it is a really big thing and we need to be very wise in this climate as well of how things are spent so yeah <laughs> that makes sense josh what about you what what has been what have you observed as some of the reactions uh accolades finger waggling I'm, that you've received i'm getting used to people wanting to take pictures with me like so <laughs> um no no i'm not sound arrogant sorry no, no but i've had it like uh, um uh, so many times now already people have said oh wait hold on you're from the 007 aren't you you two are from 007 uh, and like, please can we get a picture and it's like you know i'm i'm more than happy and i know i've seen you know celebrities before and and where they're like oh they're trying to hide but i think we're still in the infancy stage so yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Like, well, now, yeah, wait a minute. Let, let's let's paint that a little bit of an uh, interesting picture. I mean, right now there's casting, as you know, for season two. So, we're, and I would imagine this time they've got to tell people, even in the casting, it's a 007 show because it's worldwide yeah. now. It's number one in the UK. It's in the top ten in the United yeah. States. So people know about this. Could there be possibly a cameo of the two of you in season two? I would love to. Right. I, 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 I me and Kamara would, would go back in the, again and again and again if we could. The production team were absolutely amazing. They, they, you know, we couldn't have asked yeah. for a better production team. The uh, seventy-two films were absolutely amazing throughout the whole process, and we would love to work with on this again and again and again. It was so amazing, and and a cameo, hell yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe in the new Bond film too. What do you think? Uh, 
I, yeah, I, I'd like to uh, uh, oh. audition for uh, the, a villain part, actually. I think I'll make a good villain. <laughs> That's, you're going to get typecast now. <laughs> Kamara's got to be got got to be the hero, and you be the villain. I can yeah. see that happening. Yeah, well, yeah, you're yeah, more yeah. of a broccoli now, so you have an in. I know. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get send her an oh, email and say, please listen. I think I made a good villain. It's the least they can do. Well, listen. We are <laughs> at the 30 minute point, which means unfortunately we do have to say goodbye to you. But my hope beyond hope is that we can have you back on the show maybe in a few months when you've been able to take this all in and we hear more about your journey but Kamara and Josh thank you so much thank, thank you for being the couple that you are in representing on fans but thank you yeah thank you David you, uh, you know you're, you've been amazing as well so definitely will be, we'll be our pleasure to be back on love it and of course thank this you. has been David Zeritsky for the bond experience and we'll see you all real soon take care everyone take care love people Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.